Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. Sun is shining here. It is a gorgeous day. Um, I'm wearing these new uh, reusable gloves. Uh, they're a wee bit tied on it, but I'm actually really liking them. They feel really nice. Um, oh, and just while I'm here, um, a couple of people have asked where I have got this little tip holder from. It was actually a gift, but it was purchased from Painted and Posted um, on Instagram. I will leave their link below. They are a small business all handmade items so um yeah i'll pop that below you can go check out their instagram account because they've got some gorgeous um resin type stuff so anyways jumping into today's design i'm going to start off by creating an ombre with a few of these beautiful madame glam colors um, and as you can see, as what I always do, I'm just kind of butting up the gel polish, um, just sort of, you know, one color to the other. Um, we've got that pink one there, and then we have, I think that second one is birthday cake. And then we have perfect white here, which is just a, just a plain white. And then taking an ombre brush, I just go back and forward, and I keep um, just sort of very gently going down the nail. I've kept this in real time just to kind of show you guys um, sort of the speed at what I work at. Once I get to the end, then I wipe off the excess and I'll go over it again then a second time and then I will cure that. And then this is me just going back over it. I'm gonna be sugaring this nail so, um, and I'm gonna be using a, an iridescent glitter. So, um, um, you know, I'm not too fussy sort of about the ombre because it will be covered over. So once I have the second layer done, then we are going to go back into the lamp and get that cured. Okay, so now that that's cured, I'm going over now with some no wipe top coat and I'm just putting a layer of that on. And before I cure that, I'm gonna sprinkle on some diamond dust. If you haven't got this in your collection, you absolutely need it. It is a staple and beautiful over any color. So once I have that really gently sprinkled on, as you can see, I buy little jars for my glitter. I just find it much easier sugaring with. And uh, once I have that sprinkled on, I'll tap in the sides just to sort of make sure that everything's nice and neat. And then we will go in for a double cure. Okay, so moving on to the next design. This is going to be a marble nail with some 3D work on it. And um, I'm putting down this base color first because the marble that I am going to be working with, I don't wanna do it too thick. Um, I cannot remember the last time I, I done a marble, if I've actually even done one before. So um, I kind of felt like I was the sort of winging it with this marble, but anyway, got my colors down and sort of just swirling through that to create that kind of mix up um, that we need for the marble. And then just sort of using the ombre brush, I'm just lifting a little bit and I'm placing it on. And that's where um, I was, you know, pretty grateful for that background just because it's sort of, it enables where I don't have to go too thick and I can sort of like manipulate the colors around a little bit more. So once I'm happy with the color placement, um, then I let it settle in for a few seconds and then we just go in for a cure. Okay, so I'm just putting a layer of velvet matte on and I will be curing that. Um, so as we will have a nice matte surface to work on for our 3D. And I am using these three colors here. This is the Elastic Gel by Neo Neil. And I'm just dipping into each of these colors and I'm kind of creating my own little blend. Um, I want it kind of more of a sort of softer corally color. So mixing those all together, um, I'm just sort of like smishing them all together until um, I've got sort of the, you know, the right, uh, the right color there. I've had to take my gloves off, by the way, for this, guys, because I cannot work with elastic gels with gloves on. And uh, but once I've a little bit, then I just sort of like roll that then into a really thin sausage. And then we're going to divide that up. Um, so I'm going to just sort of um, 
cut off five little tiny bits which are going to be our petals roll those up into little balls and then we'll place those onto the nail um, as you can see here now i just pat those down and then i use a silicone tool then just to press in and create our petal shapes Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same here, but with a second flower. And uh, if your um, 3D, if those little 3D sort of petals or anything like that there sort of start sticking to your silicone toe, just sort of dip the, the nib of it into either some water or um, gel cleanser and it should be fine then. Um, it just needs a little bit sort of more moisture to it. So, and uh, then down the bottom here, then I'm just going to add what would be some like little sort of bohemian feathers. So I'm just, again, I make sort of like a teardrop sort of shape and then I just work with that and sort of sculpt it into a bit of a sort of feather shape or how I want that to be. Um, again, just using the, the tip of the um, silicone till there and I just work with that and then once I'm happy I can just freeze that um, in the lamp we'll just pop that in then for a cure Okay, so now that the 3D work is all done and set and cured I have got out now my gel paint and just using my fine line brush here, um, I just wanted to paint some sort of like, um, just kind of sort of some little sort of string detail on that there. So I'm gonna do that behind the flowers. And also as well too, with the like little feathers as if I'm kind of joining them up. And so it's a real sort of like bohemian kind of design. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It is inspired by, I think it's Nagelwork 88. Um, and I will, um, give credit to them as well too down below and uh, see if I can find an Instagram account for them or you can go and check it out but some of their nail stuff is absolutely beautiful and I've seen it um, on Pinterest um, along with some other designs so it's amazing what you can find out there and uh, yeah I love finding designs like this here where you sort of like just bring your own little touch into as well so I'm just going back in now with a dotting tool and just add in some little bits of detail in there um, just to sort of make those little, um, those kind of like little lines just a little bit more dainty and pretty. And then finally then um, I am just going to pop uh, some of the crystal totalis in here and then I'm putting a little caviar bead just in the centre of our flowers. And uh, yeah, and then finally then that we have some um, no wipe uh, no wipe gel polish and I'm just going back over then with some diamond dust just to add a little bit of sparkle to that design and then moving on then to this design as well we are going then in with some of that birthday cake I'm really not sure it's really strange isn't it because when you see a color on its own like this color in particular this wouldn't be a color that I would be drawn to at all to wear personally um, but whenever I see it with other colors and you see it combined, it's like, it's really, really nice. It complements. So, um, we've just matte top coated that. And again, then we're going to go in here and just add some 3d work. We're going to be doing some more of those little sort of like 3d sort of feather shapes. And, uh, I'm just, again, I'm just setting like a little ball sort of shape on there and um, almost making it into a teardrop and then just sort of um, pressing and patting it as to how I want it and then once I'm happy I can go ahead and set that into the lamp. The next step then is again we're just going to hang, we're just going to paint some of these kind of like just these sort of like little um, strings sort of thing just so they're like little hanging feathers or whatever little sort of decorations and uh, I can freeze cure this throughout and then I'm also going to be adding as well to some of those little dots just to kind of just to make it sort of pretty and aesthetic looking so um, I really liked how this turned out I thought it was really cute <laughs> 
And then finally, we're going to add another little sprinkle of that beautiful diamond dust. And I'm just going in again with some new white top coat over the top of the feathers. And, um, and then we're just gonna sprinkle over, double cure that. And that is our set pretty much done. Ta-da, and there we go, guys. That is the finished look, our beautiful little 3D flowers and feathers in a kind of nice bohemian style with some added glitter as well too. I love the different tones and stuff like that running throughout these nails. Um, I just think they're really pretty. I really do. I really, really, really like this set. And um, yeah, I had so much fun giving this a go. It has been a hot minute from I have used the elastic gel. So I was really happy to get those out again and get doing some 3D work. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a little hello, a comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all again next week. Bye.